Way back to pin lane. Well, let's show you the starting grid. Genoso and Matos on the front row. Pecorari and Graham Rahal, who came so close to winning at Pikes Peak, will start on the outside of row two. As we look at the rest of the grid, you actually taught at this racetrack, Johnny. What's the keys to going fast here at Infineon? Well, Infineon's very difficult. Well, here we go. Green flag, we're underway. Side by side there, Matos and Donoso. Up the hill we go for the first time, turn two. The very aggressive drive in there. You saw Donoso as he went through turn one, drift right to the apex in two, and that forced Matos off line, who has now fallen back in position. I think that was Marco Andretti going into second place. Mark Wilkins getting by Justice. Yeah, and Graham Rahal had the position, lost position, and got the position back all in a matter of a turn or two. And look at Donoso sliding. Everybody slipping around. And here comes Marco Andretti trying to get through past Jonathan Klein. And finally, he's back into clean air now between him and Donoso. So even though Jonathan Klein was running good, quick laps. Racing. All right, getting ready for the restart. And Donoso leading them down quickly. He's already on the gas. So there was, uh, you know, he actually started that well before turn 11. Again, you know, sometimes uh, you, you, you do that kind of thing, get away with it. And, and in my mind, it's often very good because it, uh, you know, it spreads people out a little bit. Although Matos right now all over his gearbox. And Marco Andretti right behind them in case anything happens in front of him. And he's right in the thick of this as well. This is pretty much going to be a green-white checkered finish. Genoso, Matos, Andretti all battling in Hinchcliffe right there with him. All right, now we know that Matos has made all of his overtaking maneuvers going into turn seven. Right now they are in the carousel. So what Matos is trying to do is get as close to Donoso coming out oh, of this corner. Oh, boy, he wiggled through there, Johnny, at the exit. You know, Donoso doing everything he can to open up that gap going into turn seven. And right now he's got enough gap so that he doesn't have to worry about Matos. Hit his marks. Oh, oh did you see those he hands? He slid, didn't he? Donoso slid through seven. And Matos slid coming out of the carousel. So it all balances out. And Andretti and Hinchcliffe give chase. One little bigger ball. Oh, we got one around down to turn seven. Klein, it looks like, is around. He's going again. Boy, he lost a lot of spots. And Jenkins with a broken suspension just trying to keep the car on the track. Right one more now. to go. Oh, and Denoso's really got to hit his marks. You can see he's fighting that race car. It's loose. Matos behind him knows it. The question is, is going to be, you know, is, is going to, is he going to be able to take advantage of that? White flag is out. Just one lap left. Oh, now that was done very well by Denoso. You see, he didn't get loose that time. Matos was probably counting on that. He's got one more shot, his best shot going into turn seven, and after that, turn 11. And to get into turn seven, he's got to get through the carousel very well. That's a big part of setting up that fast straightaway, and he slipped through there last time. Let's watch as we go into the carousel. What happens to Matos? All right, Donoso taking a little bit wider line than Matos, and Donoso looked pretty good that time. I don't know whether Matos is going to be close enough going into seven to outbreak him. Now this is where Donoso slipped last lap. Oh, oh and he again, again he does. Boy, that car really plows the front end through there, but Matos, something's wrong with Matos' car. He slowed dramatically. Where'd he go? Andretti's, Andretti's up to second. Hinchcliffe to third. Matos's machine, it looks like it's running out of steam on the last lap. You know, that's the type of situation. You're in an area where you're going down the gearbox. You don't know whether he got caught in between gears. You know, again, on these Star Mazda cars, rare for you to have a gearbox problem, but now, that might be possible. Now he's trying to protect that inside line in the last corner. Donoso's going to get the win. Marco Andretti's going to get second, and Matos is trying to hang on for fourth in the championship points lead. He'll do it, and we'll be back to talk to our winner, Pablo Donoso, right after these words here on Speed. Here's a look at the top ten. Donoso, Andretti, Hinchcliffe, the top three, and Matos holds on for fourth. Here's Tracy Wolfson with our winner, Pablo Donoso. Pablo, congratulations. Your first poll and your first win. How big of, is this for you? 
It's great. I, I'm really happy because it's my first victory in the United States. I won in, in Europe. I won in Chile. I won in Argentina. I'm really happy. It's our first victory. Well, I'm really happy. What about that big slide on the last lap holding off Matos? Yeah, we, we fought some laps before the base car and after the base car he was very very near to me and I don't know what happened with him but he, he drove really fast he's a great driver and if he's off we, we can catch him and we can fight for the championship I'm really happy you've been waiting all season to do donuts out there for the fans you finally got your chance congratulations thank you